Ezra, Shalashi, 3 Ezra, 9. Then Ezra, rising from the court of the temple, went to the chamber of Yahuchanan, the son of Eli Yashiv, and remained there, and did eat no meat nor drink water, mourning for the great iniquities of the multitude. And there was a proclamation in all Yahudah and Yerushalayim to all them that were of the captivity, that they should be gathered together at Yerushalayim, and that whosoever met not there within two or three days, according as the elders that bore rule appointed, their cattle should be seized to the use of the temple, and himself cast out from them that were of the captivity. And, in three days were all they of the tribe of Yahudah and Binyamin gathered together at Yerushalayim, the twentieth day of the ninth month. And all the multitude sat trembling in the broad court of the temple because of the present foul weather. So Ezra arose up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed the Torah in marrying strange women, thereby to increase the sins of Yashara'el. And now, by confessing, give glory unto Yahweh Elohim of our fathers, and do this, do his will, and separate yourselves from the heathen of the land and from the strange women. Then cried the whole multitude and said with a loud voice, Like as you have spoken, so will we do. But for as much as the people are many, and it is foul weather, so that we cannot stand without, and this is not a work of a day or two, seeing our sin is, rather seeing our sin in these things, is spread afar. Therefore let the rulers of the multitude stay. Let all them of our habitations that have strange women come at the appointed time, rather, come at the time appointed, and with them the rulers and judges of every place, till we turn away the wrath of Yahweh from us for this matter. Then Jonathan, the son of Asheel, and Yahaziah, the son of Tikva, accordingly took this matter upon them, and Meshalam and Shabbatai, the Levi, helped them. And they that were of the captivity did according to all these things. And Ezra, the priest, chose unto him the principal men of their families, all by name, and in the first day of the tenth month they sat together to examine the matter. So their cause that held strange women was brought to an end in the first day of the first month. And of the priests that were come together and had strange women, there were found of the sons of Yahusha the son of Yahud Sadach and his brethren, Maaseyahu and Eleazar and Yariv and Gedaliahu, and they gave their hands to put away their women and to offer rams to make reconcilement for their heirs. And of the sons of Imer, Hananyahu and Zevadyahu and Maaseyahu and Shemayahu and Yechiel, and Ezariahu, and of the sons of Pashkar, Eliyahu, Anai, rather, Eliyahu, Anai, Maaseyahu, Yishmael, and Nethanel, and Yozavad, and Elisa, and of the Leviim, Zavad, and Shimi, and Kelaya, rather, 
Kelaya, who was called Kelita, and Pethakia, and Yahuda, and Yona, of the holy singers, Elashav, rather, El Yashiv, Bachar, of the porters, Shalom and Telem, of them of Yasher, Shara'el, of the sons of Parosh, Ramya, and Yiziya, and Malkiyahu, and Miyamin, and Eliezer, and Malkiyahu, and Benayahu, of the sons of Elam, Matanyahu, Zachariahu, and Yechi El, and Yeremoth, and Eliyahu, and of the sons of Zatu, Eliyahu Anai, El Yashiv, Matanyahu, Yerimoth, and Zavad, and Eziza, of the sons of Bavai, Yahu Hanan, and Hananyahu, and Yozavad, and Atlai, of the sons of Bani, Beshalam, Maluk, Adayahu, Yashuv, Sha'al, and Yermoth, and of the sons of Adi, Adna, and Maaseyahu, Lakun, and Benayahu, and Matanyahu, and Betzel El, Binu, and Manasheh, and of the sons of Hananyahu, Eliyahu Anai, and Yishiyahu, and Malkiyahu, and Shemayahu, and Shimon, Chashamius, and of the sons of Chashum, Matanai, and Matityahu, and Zavad, Eliphelet, and Manasheh, and Shimi, and of the sons of Meuni, Yeremiyahu, Maadai, Amram, Uel, Benayahu, and Bedeya, and Vanya, Meremoth, and Elashiv, and Matanyahu, and Matanai, Yasu, Bani, Bini, Shimi, Shalomyahu, Nathan, and the sons of Maknabai, Shashai, Sharai, Ezear, Ezar El, Shalom, Emar Yahu, Yosef. And of the sons of Nevu, Matit Yahu, Zavad, Yido, Yoel, Bene Yahu. All these had taken strange women and put them away with their children and the priests in Leviim, and they that were of Yashad El dwelt in Yerushalayim and in the country in the first day of the seventh month. So the children of Yashad El were in their habitations. And the whole multitude came together with one accord into the broad place of the holy porch toward the east. And they spoke unto Ezra, the priest and reader, that he would bring the Torah of Moshe, that was given of Yahweh Elohim of Yashar El. So Ezra, the chief priest, brought the Torah unto the whole multitude from man to woman and to all the priests to hear Torah in the first day of the seventh month. And he read in the broad court before the holy porch from morning unto midday, before both men and women, and the multitude gave heed unto the Torah. And Ezra, the priest and reader of the Torah, stood up upon a pulpit of wood, which was made for that purpose. And there stood up by him Matithyahu, Shema, Hananyahu, Ezariyahu, Uriyahu, Kilkiyahu, Maaseyahu, upon the right hand. And upon his left hand stood Padon, Mishael, Malkiyahu, Chasum, and Chazavdana. Then took Ezra the Sefer of the Torah before the multitude, for he sat honorably in the first place in the sight of them all. And when he opened the Torah, they stood all straight up. So Ezra blessed Yahuwah 
אל יד. יאלוהים סבאוך אל שדאי. And all the people answered, Amen. And lifting up their hands, they fell to the ground and worshipped Yahuwah. Also, Yahusha, Bani, Sheravya, Yamin, Akuv, Shabbatai, Hodia, Maaseyahu, and Kelita, Ezar Yahu, and Yozavad, and Hanan Yahu, Peleya, the Leviim, taught the Torah of Yahuwah, making them with all to understand it. Then spoke Tershatha unto Ezra, the chief priest and reader, and to the Leviim that taught the multitude, even to all, saying, This day is holy unto Yahuwah, for they all wept when they heard the Torah. Go then and eat the fat and drink the sweet, and send part to them that have nothing. For this day is holy unto Yahuwah. Be not sorrowful, rather sorrowful, for Yahuwah will bring you to honor. So the Leviim published all things to the people, saying, This day is holy to Yahuwah. Be not sorrowful. Then went they by their way, every one to eat and drink and make merry, and to give part to them that had nothing, and to make great cheer, because they understood the words wherein they were instructed, and for the which they had been assembled.